Hello, friends. Just left gynecologist office, ladies. Make sure you're going to see your gynecologist. And Sean got me a nice handy dandy little microphone so that I could do some vlogging on my phone. And it's a Wednesday. Sean is away in Denver on a solo dad trip and Cash is at daycare. I'm out and about early, so I figure let's stop by some Goodwills. Haven't been to the Goodwill in a while, but let's do it now. And I'm just gonna bring you guys along. I'm feeling very Laura Caldwell. <laughs> So I made a stop at the Secret Garden Antique Store. It's um, an antique store that um, I did a video on with Harry sometime last year. So I didn't really walk around and film because I was really trying to pay attention to what was there because they have a ton of stuff in there. I did take a few clips that I'll insert now of stuff that I saw that I didn't get. So for the new house, I really want a vanity because we only have the one bathroom and it's kind of small. So I thought this would be lovely for makeup. I just wasn't ready to commit $145. These lamps were huge and beautiful and they knew exactly that because $550 for the pair, although not terrible, is a price. <laughs> <laughs> and now you can see over on the side there was more of this colored glass but again I thought this would be lovely on display bar cart some type of cabinet lovely for a party uh, not just not something I need I almost didn't notice this table and then I did and I said this is the best 80s colorful table ever but again they knew exactly what they had 525 is a price and now you have to be really committed to serving olives <laughs> at your party but I loved how um, the pimento is painted red inside of the little holder thing. I just thought this was a super cute, fun thing to find. So kudos to the people doing all of the vintage hunting. I actually thought these goblets weren't a bad price. I just don't need them. But again, they would be lovely displayed on a bar cart or in a cabinet somewhere. Super cute stuff, just I don't need it. Let's do, in the style of Laura Caldwell, a quick car haul. So I did get this brass garlic or onion bud vase when I Googled. Sometimes Google had it listed as a garlic vase or sometimes Google said onion from the maker. It's by um, Carvel from 1985. It does have a little hole in the top where you can put a flower, but I think I just like it by itself. And I think it would be lovely in our kitchen. As a general rule of thumb, I'm trying to be a bit more discerning on what I pick up, like stuff that's truly interesting and that or that I think I could really use. So the first thing I actually picked up in there was this very interesting teapot. It does have a lid that comes off and is a functioning teapot with a spout, but I just thought it was so, you know, obviously handmade. It's not signed or anything on the bottom, just has a piece of felt. So I don't know if it was made by, you know, some famous designer or not, but I just thought the glaze was so interesting. The shape was so interesting. The color is a little blown out um, because I'm shooting this in daylight, but it's just such an interesting, interesting teapot. Again, lovely decor in the kitchen. I do plan to put a shelf up in the kitchen and I thought that this would just be you know, like one of those interesting things you can add. I also have a little office space where I intend to put some display shelves. So I just thought he was really cute. And then lastly, there, I, I want to do a haul of stuff that I've picked up recently. And maybe I'll just make this that video. Just a like haul slash shopping kind of vintage stuff I've picked up. But I've picked up a couple, two other plates from an online auction, actually. And I saw this plate and it was literally called Odd Art Plate. <laughs> it is artist sign. My guess though is that this isn't a famous artist, it's just someone local. I'm gonna take a picture and, and Google it and see, but it does have the year. I'm guessing that this is 582, is May of 1982. And I just like the colors. I thought he was interesting and weird. He was only nine bucks. So I thought it would be a cute little addition. Plates are a new obsession of mine not obsession but a new thing that I'm into and I just think that they you know would add something interesting to like a gallery wall like I said I have two other ones that I'll I'll share with you guys but so I got this plate both the teapot and the garlic bud vase were both $24 this was $9 so now <laughs> now let's go to the Goodwill 
So I have had luck at this Goodwill before, but today just wasn't my day. There were a few pieces that weren't so bad, um, but again, I'm just trying to be discerning on what I pick up. I do kind of wish I had picked up this little green um, dish because I think it would have been a nice addition to the shelf I intend to put in the kitchen. Always love colored glass. Eventually I'm gonna have to commit to some because I do love the look of it. And there was cute stuff in the Goodwill, just nothing that really had to come home with me. I'm not even sure why I picked this up. <laughs> It might be cute on a shelf, but it was broken, so that was a bust. And looking back at these canisters, they would be great on someone's kitchen shelf, just not necessarily on my kitchen shelf. Do you know what I mean? Cute, but doesn't have to come home with me. Okay, that Goodwill was a bust. I'm maybe an hour from home. And I'm like, there was another thrift store that um, a guy who owns a resale store I met told me about called Thrift Teak. And I feel like it's only, it's only one o'clock. So I still have time, even if I have to drive about an hour home. So let's see if we can check out Thrift Teak. Okay, so I'm actually talking in these clips, but I was talking so low because it was surprisingly crowded at this thrift store. But this chair was actually very cute. And then this set of chairs and that mirror, also very cute. $8.75 on the mirror. So that was a bit much. <laughs> the table was $60. I think the chairs were $275. $40 on this plate, which again, I kind of wish I had gotten that tray because I love that. That would have been a great addition on a wall. Mm. But I love the shape of these chairs. Imagine them re-upholstered in a different fabric. Mm would have been so good so this was a very 80s feeling um, white dining set the table had a leaf and the set also included the credenza back there and they only wanted $500 for all of the pieces again imagine the chairs reupholstered in a fun funky fabric and in the right space this would be very cool not right for me but I'm, I'm loving what's happening at this store so far. These chairs, girl, I love these. If I needed chairs, I would have gotten them. Imagine them in a jewel tone velvet or a fun pattern. They would be so good, minus the skirt. Get into the smalls. Now, a lot of stuff in here did kind of have a Jewish flair or vibe um i don't know if they're just you know lots of jewish families are donating to this place but a lot of it did have a kind of jewish flair but there was some nice stuff in here there's a girl i follow on instagram who sells vintage who's been selling vintage table lighters so i'm on the hunt for one this wasn't it but two dollars is not a bad price this honey jar also very cute jewish in nature <laughs> so not for me but very nice this brass basket was i attracted to it because it was brass because i don't really do this kind of basket thing i was very tempted eight dollars wasn't a bad price i ended up not getting it this little dish was cute i love a good glaze i've heavily debated this picture because i want something in the kitchen to put like vintage wooden spoons in i ultimately didn't get it i might regret it who knows I'm also just a sucker for ceramics. Now this green pot, I do kind of wish that I had gotten this because it would have been cute sitting up on my shelf. The color was amazing. We don't have to cook anything in it. It can just be decor. Have no need for these coops, but they were tiny and a pretty color. And so I was very tempted. Also very tempted on these. I was going to Google, but my phone, I wasn't getting any reception, so I wasn't familiar. Obviously, I'm not really familiar with that many names, but I wasn't familiar with the name. I thought they were really pretty, but uh, glass isn't really my thing. I'm much more of a ceramics girl, so I didn't get these either, but they were pretty fun. And these cups, ooh, I was so tempted on these cups. If I had brought these home, Sean would have been like, you are crazy. We are only two people drink out of glasses but they were so cute and then i stopped by the clothes found this valentino skirt and the whole trip took a turn 
Okay, out of thrift thriftique, I will definitely be back. I was unprepared for how much I was gonna like that store actually. I don't really do clothes at thrift stores um, or Goodwills because I just, I just, I don't know, I just haven't gotten into it. But what I ended up walking away with from thr Thriftique was actually clothes. I hope that my furniture footage is like in frame and not too shaky because the, some of the stuff was just so cute and I was moving so fast um, because I was kind of, you know, hey, uh, <laughs> that I hope I got it all in there. But they had some really great furniture. All of the furniture was 25% off and they were doing this little spin thing. So at checkout, I got an extra 25, extra 15% off. Right. So what I ended up with was clothes. I have gone to a couple of like evening things and really only have one bag that I've been carrying. So I saw this little, obviously very vintage green. It kind of has like a velvet texture cute um the inside is in pretty good condition no real name brand i just thought it would be cute as another evening bag option this was ten dollars child i didn't even check she was moving so fast it did have a communal fitting room not really into that but 100 cotton okay that's fine too but this is a bcbg generation top kind of you know, a classic summer will look great with some white linen pants. Like I'll be able to wear that summer after summer. It'll never go out of style. I'm always looking for things that are classic and interesting. Then I got, look at this brand new tag still on Everlane 100% silk cropped shirt. Lovely mustard color. Tag still on, never worn. This was $20, this was $20. And then I probably didn't need these pants, but they fit really nicely and they felt really high quality and they had the black tag. So the Valentino skirt that I found had a black tag. So this must be stuff that they research and that is fancy. I've never heard of this brand, 6397. I'm gonna look them up, but it's just a pair of black drawstring pants. Pants are really hard for me because I'm short. So when I kind of find a pant that works, I buy it. <laughs> and these were $50. And then, like I said, they had a like a twister board at the checkout where they spin it for you and then you get an extra percentage off wherever it lands. And mine landed on 15% off. So that is what I got from Thriftique. I will definitely be back. Cleveland Peeps. If you haven't heard of Thriftique, I'll leave the information down in the description. Come get you some stuff. And the pair of the shoes, I thought that I had my microphone still on when I was talking. These were some like vintage Stuart Wiseman shoes. So cute. The yellow pair were 45. The gold pair were 50. Size seven and a half. Not my size. Kind of salty. Would have definitely gotten those. I will be back to Thriftique. So in addition to those few things that I found thrifting that day, I also got a couple of things recently from The Gap that I'm just going to go ahead and insert clips for here as well. One of them is this pair of jogging pants that I'm wearing. And one reason I keep going back to The Gap is because if you are petite, I am only four foot 11 inches. Their petites are truly petite, which I appreciate. <laughs> and I know I'm not really a fashion girly. None of the stuff that I'm going to show you is like groundbreaking fashion stuff, but I am a like normal human being who's not shaped like a stick, which is most of us. And we all got to get dressed. So I like the gap. I think that uh, this cardigan, especially dark ac academia keeps being something we're talking about in um, the interior world. I really like this cardigan. It kind of has that dark academia vibe. And I like that on Instagram. I like to call my style of dress Midwest toddler mom dressing because I just want to be comfortable, which we, we all say, right? We all want to be comfortable, but I want to be comfortable, but still cute. So I picked up a couple of things. These pants also from Uniglo. Love Uniglo. Actually got a couple of things from Uniglo. A coat coming that won't make it in time for this video, but I'll stick it in another video that I love so much. So everything will just be linked down below if you're interested and want to check anything out. And I'm sorry I'm talking through those clips, but uh, I was on the phone and I'm trying to get this done <laughs> in time for my upload. There's just so much going on right now and it's hard to get it all done. I'm gonna try really hard <laughs> during this section to not look up there and look down here because I'm working on that. Anyway, we're back on the couch. We haven't been sitting 
on the couch and just chatting in quite a while. But like I said at the beginning of this video that I had a couple of finds that I've been really excited to get my hands on and figured I would just share them with you because I love a haul. I feel like we all love a haul. So a friend recently told me about a site called Live Auctioneers that immediately hooked. Basically it's an auction house that's local. Live Auctioneers is online. It's actually international and you can have stuff shipped to you but this auction house works on Live Auctioneers but I can pick the stuff up locally which is fantastic. So I got a lot of things which means there were uh, things um, jumbled together or put together in one lot so you could bid on them as one thing. Got this lot. The thing that really attracted me to the lot were these two vases because they are weird and crazy and so mid-century and vibe and I just had to have them. I think I ended up paying $30 for the lot and I'm going to show you everything that was in the lot. So I don't know who these are by. Oh no, that's not true. The name is on the bottom and I have looked it up. I think that one vase was maybe $200 cuz i believe that you can still buy these new but the company has been around for a long time but so this pair of vases was in there and they are painted all the way around yes they are naked <laughs> but nothing is too explicit to have in the house with cash although we are trying to be very body positive parents which is really hard because that's not the world that we were raised in of course but i am talking about something that has nothing to do with these vases but i really really like these vases also in the lot was this weird abstract bowl and it's so much bigger than i thought it was going to be in the lot i thought it was going to be like some little like small trinket dish but like this thing is kind of big but it has a really organic shape not signed oh that's not true totally signed i'm not yet into um worrying about the prestige of things i guess i just i just like them <laughs> and i want them and i made a bid and no one bid higher than me and i was excited to get it because this was the lot that i really wanted so this bowl has been living in the middle of the dining room table honestly it's been holding mail <laughs> but I I love it and I think it was a great pop of color and a great organic piece to sit in our dining room on top of a table that is a big rectangle it's very a big structural rectangular situation so this was a nice addition and I started talking to you guys about this auctioneers because of the plate <laughs> And I mentioned that plates had kind of become my new thing. So this was the one I showed you guys earlier in the video. But what sparked that love of plates were these two plates. Really, it was this one plate that was part of the lot that I won. But it was also came with this plate. Both plates were a part of the lot. This one I did look up. It's from the museum, Picasso Museum, I think. Oh, child, it has the pedigree of the things is there, Celia. <laughs> And I've looked it up and there it's one of a set. And if you have the full set, I think I saw the set for sale for like 12 or $1,300, but it's a set of five plates. So I just mid-century vibes. I'm trying to get into that collected, eclectic, but elevated feeling space. And so I just really, all of these pieces kind of had that vibe for me, but still giving me color, still giving me texture, still giving me interest. This one is from Ling Chi, China, but it has a vintage stick around the bottom I, again when I first got these I did Google all of them up and, and find these things and they are companies that have been around for a long time so that started the plate it's a moment it's happening then I went to a um, vintage event and I found this they had a whole stack of these kind of more organic um, feeling plates and again plates I had a plan for them in the kitchen. <sighs> We're moving, so I don't know if I'll still execute that plan. I I I want to finish the dining room because we have part one of our dining room makeover up on the channel. So I just want to do the second part just for continuity. <laughs> We'll see if we get there. So those were my plates and that's what kind of sparked that. And my vintage finding or secondhand finding or antique finding, I'm trying to find things that are way more interesting that speak to me in a different way, like that bowl or those vases um, or stuff that I find that I think that I can find very, very useful, which brings me to this next find, which I am so excited about. This I found at the Goodwill for $4.77 and it is a cranberry set. Have you ever seen something so fancy to serve cranberry sauce from a can? I can't even, I can't even tell you. Now it does need to be polished because I just found it and then put it away. Look at that. 
You scoop it, you slice it, you scoop it, and you put it on your plate. Why are these not a thing? In its original box, I wish it had a year on it. Baby cakes cranberry set. That's my little haul, except for one last thing. So there was a picture I saw on Pinterest. Boom. This picture here. And in a video previously, I talked about Uptown Finds, which is a vintage store run by a black woman here in the Cleveland area. I got our chairs from her. I got stuff from the third space from her. This picture stayed in my head. She had a pair of these lamps. Her price that she wanted for them, understandably, was the price that she wanted. And that price was higher than I wanted to pay. But then she announced that she was having a sale. And I was like, do you still have those lamps? And she was like, I do. I got the lamp, y'all. And I was able, using Google Lens, to find this lampshade as well, and I got the lampshade. So let's set them up, because they've been sitting in the corner, and I just wanna get them out of the corner, and I wanna have them set up, and I've just been waiting on a moment to film myself doing it. So let's do it. Let's do it now. This is a space I envision putting the lamps, and this space has kind of just become a little bit of a catch-all for all of my collections or things that I haven't quite found a home for, but this is where I wanna put the lamps. I don't think that I'm going to plug them up right now because we don't really use the lighting in this space. I just wanted them to not be living on the floor where they were. Okay, they look cute. The shades are from Ballard Designs and this box has been sitting <laughs> in the dining room for a couple of weeks now. Oh. That is a big shade. Ooh, is it too big? Whoa. The finial doesn't fit. Let's do them both and then we'll take a step back, see what we think. Okay, this is by no means <laughs> a properly styled credenza. I just felt like we needed to clean it up just a little bit to like let the lamps shine. I think if that piece of artwork that was right here was hung up on the wall, the height thing was doing something weird. Just the one larger picture off to the side feels a little bit more wrong, if that makes sense. I love the lamps. Well, of course I love the lamps. It's just that this whole space is just not it's just not done. Now I'm home alone, so I can't step back and see, but like if this was up on the wall, it all would feel more balanced. Maybe we'll go ahead, finish the dining room, put this up so that we can at least get a shot of it in all of its glory. Okay, I think that that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a break on renovation stuff and just let's go thrifting and buy some stuff and haul some stuff and just feel a little bit better about life because what's really happening to Real Time Celia is that I'm stressed out about doors. I think we are entering a space where I might have to get into some DIYs over at the house, which I'm not mad about, just feeling apprehensive because as I keep saying, I don't really know what I'm doing and I don't really have the time <laughs> just because of like all the other house decisions that have to be made and like work and family and like all of the things. But I think that that's gonna be the solution and where we kind of head next. So this week's video and this like fun kind of like really just making a mess my house and putting on clothes and talking about decor really was a nice welcome break. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. The problem is I can't leave this stuff like this because cash will be messing with it. And also it just has to be a more is more right now because I got too much stuff and no place to put it. Maybe that's it. Does that feel better? Kind of. Does it feel too heavy on one side? Maybe. Maybe. That feels better, right? That feels better? It's still, it's still crazy, but I think it feels a little bit better.